Hey everyone, GeForce RTX 50 series laptops have arrived. Today we're taking a look at the brand new GeForce RTX 5060 laptop GPU in the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14. This laptop is packed with our latest gaming and AI tech, including DLSS4, RTX Neural Shaders, new Blackwell Max-Q technologies, 9th gen NVIDIA encoder, and much more. It's also capable of playing your favorite games at over 100 frames per second. But before we get to that, let's talk about the NVIDIA Blackwell architecture that powers this laptop. The RTX 50 series features new 4th gen ray tracing cores with increased performance that accelerate mega geometry and ray tracing, along with 5th generation tensor cores that provide maximum performance with DLSS4. Also, new 9th gen video encoder and 6th gen decoder enable faster video editing with support for 422 professional formats, smoother playback, and enhanced HEVC and AV1 quality. RTX 50 series laptops deliver improved overall system efficiency, which means better battery life, quieter acoustics, lower temperatures, and improved system performance. It's all thanks to the new Blackwell Max-Q technologies, which include a new advanced power gating, which reduces power consumption by toggling unused parts of the GPU. This GPU also features voltage-optimized GDDR7 memory, which are built for efficiency. Low latency sleep allows the GPU to go to sleep quickly to save power and improve battery life and Battery Boost, which finds the optimal balance of GPU and CPU power usage, battery discharge, image quality, and performance for longer battery life. All of this working together allows you to get a big boost in battery life while gaming compared to previous generations, along with significantly improved performance. These savings also extend outside of gaming. Now let's talk about what's new with DLSS 4. It's the biggest advancement to DLSS since 2020, with new features to the entire suite of DLSS technologies. First, super resolution and ray reconstruction both get a more sophisticated transformer model that improves image quality and stability. This model uses four times more compute processing power to reconstruct scenes better than before, delivering amazing image quality. Next is frame generation, which uses game engine and pixel data to generate a single frame in between traditionally rendered frames. Now with the RTX 50 series, we introduced multi-frame generation, which can generate up to three frames per rendered frame for amazing performance. DLSS4 multi-frame generation also supports creative apps like D5 Render in the viewport, allowing designers to better iterate on their work. DLSS4 features like multi-frame generation are available today in over 125 games and applications, with more being supported all the time. Now let's take a look at the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 with the GeForce RTX 5060 laptop GPU. This laptop can play your favorite games at over 100 frames per second. It also features a 14-inch 120Hz display with support for NVIDIA G-Sync for reduced screen tearing and low latency. And all of this performance is packed into a super thin form factor that is under 16 millimeters in thickness. Let's talk more about gaming performance. For all of our testing, we are using the new Transformer AI model that powers super resolution and ray reconstruction, offering enhanced image quality. All testing is at 1080p with DLSS quality mode. Also, all of our testing in this video has multi-frame generation enabled to take full advantage of the feature set of RTX 50 series. In fact, thanks to DLSS 4 with multi-frame generation, RTX 5060 laptops are more than twice the performance of previous generation laptops. Let's start with Stalker 2, the latest entry in this long-running franchise with gameplay that is a blend of first-person shooter, horror, and immersive sim. Here we are testing with epic quality settings. At these settings, we are getting over 180 frames per second, an amazingly smooth gameplay experience. Next up, Dragon Age The Veil Guard, which is an immersive single-player RPG from Bioware. At maximum settings with ultra ray tracing enabled and DLSS 4, we're getting over 180 frames per second. Doom The Dark Ages is the prequel to the critically acclaimed Doom game, which released in 2016, and Doom Eternal, which tells an epic cinematic story of the Doom Slayer's rage. The RTX 5060 laptop offers impressive performance in this ray trace game with over 190 frames per second at 1080p with ultra settings. You can see the RTX 5060 laptop delivers impressive gaming performance on a mobile platform. Content creators can take advantage of NVIDIA Studio tools and technology, 
Improve your video editing and live streaming workflows with support for professional formats, advanced AI effects, and more. Experience 422 encode and decode, improved AV1 and HEVC quality, and even a new AV1 ultra high quality mode that boosts video quality even further. Live streamers can also use the newly updated NVIDIA Broadcast app to turn any room into a home studio. There's a new user interface and great effects to enhance your image and audio quality. And of course, NVIDIA app, which is the essential companion for PC gamers and creators. It has new features like a faster and more responsive interface, DLSS model overrides allowing you to enable DLSS 4 features in over 125 games and apps, RTX HDR and dynamic vibrance, a redesigned in-game overlay, and so much more. The GeForce RTX 50 series are built to power the next generation of neural rendering with features like RTX Neural Texture Compression for incredibly detailed textures and lower memory usage. Mega Geometry for enabling unbelievably detailed environments, characters, and objects. RTX Hair and Skin for incredibly realistic characters and games. RTX Neural Radiance Cache for improved image quality and performance in ray trace games. And that's a look at an RTX 5060 laptop GPU. This GPU is built for amazing gaming performance for today's and tomorrow's cutting edge titles and loaded with AI features for creators. The RTX 50 series laptops are available now. Check out geforce.com to learn more.